so today we're going to be having a look at thirds. Uh, I've got this question here, which is to write the square root of 18 in the form k root 2, where k is an integer. Now, when we are simplifying thirds, this number here underneath the square root, we are going to try and make as small as possible. Now, we can write thirds in different ways, and to do that, we need to have a good understanding of the square numbers. So it can always help just to write them down when you're starting off. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25... 36. I'm not going to write down any more because I've already gone way bigger than 18. Um, but if we're going to have a look at what which one of these square numbers actually goes into 18. Now hopefully you can see from this that 9 goes into 18. So I can actually write this out in a different way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that the square root of 18 is the same as the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 2. Okay. Once we've done that, the square root of 9 we know is the whole number 3. So we can write, instead of writing the square root of 9, we can write just the number 3. So it's 3 lots of, or 3 times the square root of 2. Now just like, and I like to keep linking this back to algebra whenever I can, just like with algebra, and if I do this to the side, just like when we have something like 3y, uh, this also means 3 times y. Okay, so when it comes to algebra, we can actually get rid, of, get rid of that time sign. We're going to do exactly the same here. So rather than writing 3 times the square root of 2, I'm just going to write 3 root 2 and underline my answer. So there we go. We've written it in the form k root 2, where k is an integer, integer meaning whole number. So k in this instance is 3. And moving on to the next question. Okay, so here we have the square root of 80. Um, and the way these videos obviously always work is I'm going to run through a few examples and then you're actually going to have a go at practicing some yourself. So I would encourage you at this point especially to have a piece of paper uh, and to write down these examples to then help you obviously with the questions that you're going to try. So moving on to this one. Write the square root of 80 in the form k root 5 where k is an integer. Now the square root of 80 is a good one because there are a few square numbers that go into the square root of 80. So let's have a look. One. 4, 4 goes in, 9, 16, 25, 36. And this is where you've got to be really, really careful with the third. So we know that 4 goes in, but we do have to make sure and just check, is there a bigger square number that actually goes into 80? And it's not a very nice one to spot with the square root of 80, but 16 actually does go into 80. It goes in 5 times. So the other way that I can write the square root of 80 is I can write the square root of 16, times the square root of 5, just like we did before. And again, the square root of 16 now actually becomes the whole number 4. So it's 4 times the square root of 5. And again, just getting rid of that time sign. We can say 4 root 5. There we go. Finishing off our question. Now, I think it's quite important to talk about this at this point, because if we only spotted that the 4 went in, at this point we might have written the square root of 80 as the square root of 4 times the square root of 20. And we may have gotten to the point here where we wrote 2 times the square root of 20 and then simplified down that to 2 root 20. Okay, But unfortunately at this point root 20 is not as simple, it's not as small as it can actually go. Um, so this would actually be wrong and we'd have to continue simplifying it. I'm going to move on to another question here where we look at what to do in this scenario where there is a number in front of, this, of a third that can be simplified. Okay, But 4 root 5 is our final answer there. And we'll move on to one similar to this one on the right hand side here. Okay, so here's a question that's quite similar. Uh, we've got three root right three root twenty in the form k root five where k is an integer. Now I didn't mention it on the previous one, but it is good to note, particularly when questions are written like this, that there is a good little hint here in the question. It says write it in the form k root five. So on that previous question, we would have seen that actually having that larger root there was wrong purely because you know it's not in the form that the question is actually asking. So for this question here, 3 root 20, uh, we're going to treat it in a very similar way, but we're actually going to ignore, to start with, that the 3's there. I mean, it's important because it's 3 lots of root 20, okay? And we can write it in that way. We can write it's 3 lots of root 20. But this root 20 part of the third, we are going to have to simplify. So we're going to come back and remember that the 3's there later. But to start with, we're just going to treat this root 20 part in exactly the same way that we did before. So thinking about the square numbers that go in, and you might be able to spot them in your head, but I'm going to keep writing them down, 1, 4, 9, 16. Uh, 4 goes into root 20. So just the root 20 part can be written as the square root of 4 
multiplied by the square root of 5. Okay, root 4 is 2, so it's 2 lots of root 5, which is 2 root 5. So this is the part where we have to now just remember that there was a 3 there originally. It was 3 lots of root 20. We've now figured out that root 20 is the same as 2 root 5. So we just have to bring this 3 back down, and it's 3 lots of 2 root 5. So again, I'm going to link it back to algebra. If we had something like 3 lots of 2y, and that would become 6y. And we're going to use that same logic here. 3 lots of 2 root 5 becomes 6 root 5. Okay, so there is our final answer, 6 root 5. Now, you are going to have a go at four questions. So hopefully you've written these past two down, if not all three. Um, and you are going to have a go at the four that I've got for you. They're all very similar to this. There are two questions similar to the first two and two questions similar to this one. So what I encourage you to do is to pause the video, have a go, maybe have a go at the first one, watch through my solution, and then have a go at the following three. So I'm going to flick to those now. Okay, so here are the four questions. Pause the video here, and I will show you the answers in a sec. Okay, so the square root of 90 is the square root of 9, multiplied by the square root of 10, uh, which is 3 root 10. The square root of 32 is the square root of 16, multiplied by the square root of 2, which is 4 root 2. 2 root 18, ignoring the 2 for the moment, root 18 is the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which is 3 root 2, but then dropping down the 2 again, 2 lots of 3 root 2 is 6 root 2. And the final question here, 3 root 40, ignoring the 3 for the moment, root 40 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 10 which is 2 root 10, and then reintroducing that 3 again, 3 lots of 2 root 10 is 6 root 10. All right, brilliant. So if you're happy with these four, I've got two little exam questions for you to have a go at. Again, doing the same process. Pause the video, have a go, and then I'll go through the answers in a sec. Okay, so pause there. And okay, to finish this off then, the two answers here, writing the square root of 50 in the form k root 2, where k is an integer. So the square root of 50, 25 goes into 50, so it's the square root of 25, multiplied by the square root of 2. The square root of 25 is 5, so it is 5 lots of root 2, or 5 root 2. And the final question, 8 root 8 can be expressed in the form m root 2, where m is a positive integer, express 8 root 8 in the form m root 2. So ignoring the 8 for the moment, I'm going to rewrite this question over here, so 8 root 8, ignoring the 8. The square root of 8 is the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 2, which is 2 root 2. So reintroducing that 8 again, just like before, we need to do 8 lots of 2 root 2, and 8 lots of 2 root 2 will become 16 root 2. Perfect, and that is Simplifying thirds. If you like the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I will see you for the next one.